So we know that the best way to attach your spoil board to the bed of your CNC is by using nylon screws to protect both your bit and your machine from any potential damage. Today, I'll be showing you how to use Phantom's new spoil tight mounting kit to do just that. So standard on all Phantom CNC's now are these nut certs. They're directly embedded into the Bakelite surface of your CNC, allowing you to easily attach your spoil board directly to the surface. And with Phantom's new spoil tight mounting kit, you'll get those same metal nut certs and a set of nylon screws that will prevent any damage should your bit come into contact with the screws for a far superior hold down system. So the first step is figuring out exactly where we want our nut certs to go in the bed of our CNC. Ideally, you want your nut certs to be inserted between the zones on your CNC as to not disrupt the vacuum. But note, it does get a little tight here on the front end of your machine if you were to insert your nut cert on the outside of the vacuum zone. At this corner and this corner, I decided to attach my nut cert just inside the vacuum zone. But hey, you do you. By the way, I'm using two phantom bits for this project, a quarter inch plunge upcut bit, both for my spoil board and the bed of my CNC, and their three wing flattening mill to make all the flattening passes on my MDF. I found it really helpful to use a pair of digital calipers in order to measure the exact dimension of my nut certs when I'm drawing into Vectric. I did the exact same process to measure the diameter of the screw as well as the size of the socket I'll be using to screw them in. Once you've got your nut cert locations all worked out in Vectric, run your air passes to double, triple, quadruple check the locations. Even though I measured as carefully as I could, I still found myself having to nudge little nut cert locations 0.1 inch, 0.2 inches in certain areas all over the surface. Of course, you can do this all manually too by marking your locations, keeping track, doing chalk lines. But if you take the time to do this properly up front, you'll have this file forever, which will make installing your initial spoil board and all subsequent spoil boards much easier as you'll just be able to run this file and have the exact location for hold down. Okay, so there is a safety feature built into your Phantom. It's programmed to not cut deep into your Bakelite surface and potentially ruin your machine. So for example, I wasn't able to cut the full depth of the nut cert into the Bakelite surface, but I was able to cut negative 0.1 inches to help me mark the location of all of my nut certs. Okay, so this is your reminder to plug those holes in your vacuum table before you begin marking the location for your nut certs in order to avoid a bunch of debris falling down into your table. Otherwise, you'll be running around in a panic like me. Okay, done, and everything went perfect. It's always a little nerve wracking cutting into the bed of your CNC, but every location for every nut cert is exactly where I wanted it. So now it's time to drill by hand down to depth and test fit these nut certs as I go. They're a bit tapered at the top, but I wanted the fit to be snug at the bottom, so I would use my drill to widen at the top, move the debris with a little compressed air, and test fit the depth as I move all around the table. Then it's time to clean up. And at this point, go ahead and remove the hole covers in your vacuum table so we can take advantage of our vacuum in the next steps. Now might be a good time to point out that I've upgraded from the standard round gasketing to the square gasketing. To understand how this improves your vacuum table's efficiency, see the Upgrade Your Grid Gasket video on my YouTube page. Okay, back to the task at hand with a step you don't want to skip. It's important to mark your origin location on the machine bed itself. Now to additionally mark this XY coordinate, I'm just going to bring the bit down to my machine bed surface and manually rotate it to mark that position. This will ensure that both at our initial installation and when you're swapping out your spoil boards down the road, you can just run the exact same file from the exact same origin location and you know everything will be vertically aligned perfectly. Now, as tempting as it might be to go ahead and use that five minute epoxy and get those nut certs into the bed of your CNC, I would recommend holding off. I'm actually gonna bring my spoil board into position on the bed of my CNC first. That's so that I can also run a file that will drill all the way through the MDF in order to pre-drill for the screws that will hold down the spoil board. And if I've got my metal nut cert already embedded into the bed of my CNC, I'm going to risk damaging my bit or my machine by drilling through and into that metal nut cert. Okay, so the first cuts I'm making into our spoil board are the socket pockets. These are pockets big enough to accommodate the socket I'll be using to insert our nylon screws and deep enough to sink those screws as far down into the spoil board as possible. 
Okay, so that went perfectly. Our socket pockets have been perfectly executed all over the surface of our spoil board. Up next, I'll be running a pre-drill file to accommodate our nylon screws. Now, because we haven't yet installed those metal nut certs, we are at no risk of damaging our bit or our machine by cutting through the entire depth of our MDF. Down the road, when you're swapping out your spoil board, run conservatively on the diameter and depth of this cut or consider removing your spoil board entirely and pre-drilling by hand. Well, the good news is the hard part's over. Next, I'm going to remove the MDF from my machine and go around with a little five minute epoxy to secure the nut certs into the bed of my CNC. Now don't go skimp on that five minute epoxy. It's a fine balance of filling that entire cavity and bridging the gap between your nut cert and your Bakelite surface while making sure not to fill the nut cert with resin and keeping it level with the bed of your CNC. And of course, before you put the MDF back down onto the bed of your machine for final spoil board installation, you want to go Go ahead and vacuum the entire surface and free it of any dust and debris. Okay, now the fun part, actually screwing down our spoil board. Now I've cut a lot of pockets and screw holes into this spoil board, but because we use Vectric to do it, I know everything is perfectly vertically aligned and this should be easy breezy. Oh, and don't forget to turn your vacuum pump on for this part. You really want to pull that MDF down as tight to your machine bed as possible while screwing it into position. This will make sure you have the tightest seal possible and maximize your vacuum table's efficiency. Okay, so this part is really so much fun. Look how perfectly and quickly and easily this spoil board is going down. And that's because we have used Vectric to perfectly align all of our design files and set ourselves up for success when installing this new spoil board hold down system with Phantom Spoil Tight Mounting Kit. Well, that's it. The hard part is over. Our spoil board is officially screwed down to our machine bed. And the last most satisfying part is to run your final flattening pass. This will give you a perfectly flat surface relative to your machine. And coupled with Phantom Spoil Tight Mounting Kit, you'll have one of the best performing spoil board systems out there. Okay, well that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video, maybe even learned something. Please like, subscribe, and comment below. It's these little things that make my business really go around, and it means more to me than you know. Thanks.